Actress and activist Daryl Hannah has lived in some lovely homes over the years, all the while trying to be eco-conscious with her choices. She once lived in a rustic log cabin in Santa Monica and then moved on to a new residence in Malibu, California that's powered by solar energy and uses a very small environmental footprint. Daryl Hannah is an American actress who's probably best remembered for her roles in some of the biggest films of the 80s including Steel Magnolias, Blade Runner, and more. Daryl grew up an emotionally unstable and incredibly shy child. It became with a diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome when she was young, and due to her struggles, her mom eventually took her to Jamaica to live for a brief period of time. Upon their return to Chicago, Daryl enrolled in an elite college prep school and through her experiences there on the soccer team, began to overcome her many difficulties. Soon, she was off to the University of Southern California's School of Theater where she studied both ballet and acting. In 1978, she made her big screen debut with a bit part in a horror film called The Fury. Her breakout role would come four years later with Ridley Scott's Blade Runner and, following that, she was officially box office gold and would star as a mermaid alongside Tom Hanks in the hit comedy Splash. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Since getting her acting career off the ground, Daryl has developed a deep desire to fight for environmental rights. In fact, she's been so passionate about the cause that she's been arrested five times for sit-ins on climate control awareness and protests against things like the Keystone Oil Pipeline. The causes that Daryl fights for have impacted how she's chosen to live, as well as the homes she's bought along the way, such as her former log cabin and her eco-friendly Malibu home. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and this one checking out the homes of Daryl Hannah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Hidden in a sea of trees in Santa Monica's rustic canyon neighborhood is a jaw-dropping cabin-inspired home. This gorgeous home is also steeped in Hollywood history. First built as a stage set for the 1923 silent film The Courtship of Miles Standish, once that movie's production company folded, a banker took control of the estate and had the entire structure relocated to where it sits now. He also converted it to a family beach home with the help of an architect named Arthur Heinemann. Before the cabin arrived at this location, the site was known as Uplifter's Ranch, a vast compound that was created as a secret retreat for the exclusive men's only group known as the Uplifter's Club. Known members of this organization range from the likes of Walt Disney to Will Rogers, and who knows what these dudes got up to in these deep dark woods. Or maybe I just like making it sound creepier than it really is. After accumulating all that history, Daryl Hannah acquired the property. It's unclear exactly when she bought it, but considering her heyday was in the late 80s, it was probably sometime around then. Following that came an extensive two-year-long renovation that turned this cabin into the remarkable space that it is now, a six-bedroom home that manages to captivate anyone who sets their eyes on it with its mix of old and new. Naturally fallen lodgepole pine has been used to frame the cabin's foundation, while the original stones that once made up most of the home have been repurposed for use in the fireplace located in the heart of the great room. Inside this space, there's a gorgeous staircase as well as the overlook that's framed on either side by those candlelit chandeliers. Meanwhile, more modern elements including solid slab granite floors and high-end appliances and fixtures help give this historical lodge a more contemporary feel. Other highlights of this property include five full bathrooms, a large open concept kitchen and dining room combo, as well as details like double case windows and bifold doors. Outside, there's a ton of entertaining space with a terrace, plunge pool, and stone paths throughout. Daryl would sell this property sometime in 1999 for an undisclosed amount. She then secured the property we're headed to next, but if you love this log cabin, you can scoop this place up for yourself. Well, as long as you have around $8 million on you, that is. When not acting or protesting for a very long time, Daryl could be found living here. In her 17-acre Malibu compound, built out of nearly 100% green materials and powered wholly by energy from solar panels. This cottage offers a uniquely relaxed vibe, probably thanks to the fact that it's surrounded on all sides by meadows, streams, and ancient live oaks. Daryl purchased this spread in two separate transactions in June of 
2001 for a total of only $1.32 million. Located on the land, there are three small structures, totaling around 2,190 square feet of space with three bedrooms and three baths. The larger building was first built in 1920s as a hunting cabin and now houses Daryl's living room with a red brick fireplace, large sofa, and an even larger wooden bookshelf on the far side. Elsewhere in this first building is Daryl's kitchen as well as her art studio. Over in the second structure, you'll find the master suite, which includes more than just the bedroom, but also a kitchenette, alongside yet another fireplace and some lovely details in the ensuite bathroom, such as stained glass doors and windows surrounding a Japanese soaking tub. The third and final structure houses the guest room with an epic 15-foot ceiling and loft that boasts views of the Pacific Ocean to boot. Outside, there's a large, flat and fenced-in pasture, as well as a large vegetable garden, ancient palm grove, and, of course, abundant sunshine all around. After owning this property for a little over 10 years, Daryl would decide to place it on the market. Problem was, with her asking price of $5 million, no one was all that interested. Then, a few years later, Daryl found herself dating one of the most famous rockers alive, Neil Young. Neil would ultimately come through for Daryl by buying the property for himself in 2016 for $3.6 million. This way, Daryl got the best of both worlds. She was able to make a profit on the property while also continuing to use it. But unfortunately, the good times wouldn't last. During fall 2018, the home was one of the many that was destroyed in the Woolsey wildfires. It claimed the lives of 77 people while also destroying a ton of property in the process, including including the homes of Pierce Brosnan, Kim Basinger, Gerard Butler, and many, many more. Since losing their home in such heartbreaking fashion, Neil and Daryl have split their time between two further off-the-grid retreats. The first is a small residence and former stagecoach stop that Daryl owns just outside of Telluride, Colorado. The second is a 116-year-old cottage located on a lake near Neil Young's hometown of Omimi, Ontario. One thing's for sure, Daryl definitely found herself the right partner to share her life with as both she and Neil clearly have an affinity for staying out of sight and off the grid. Let's just hope they don't have to go through anything like that fire ever again. Alright everyone, that's gonna bring this Daryl Hannah house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought about this story and her unique homes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!